Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here back at CES with Lori. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. So today we're going to be talking about some new products. Yep. We're here in the Western Digital Suite. We've got some new WD hardware to talk about. Yes, we do. What do you guys have going on this year? So today we're announcing our WD Black PCIe SSD product. Okay. It's our first PCIe-based SSD. So WD Black PCIe SSD gives us a great performance boost over any SATA-based SSD, more than three times faster. What WD Black also does is it extends our portfolio of WD-based SSDs. You remember the WD Blue and the right. WD Green that launched uh, this past October. So the WD Black really gives us a high performing SSD for gamers, for VR developers, for content creation, anything where performance, speed, faster load time, faster boot up, faster shutdown is important. Okay, and I noticed actually when I was looking at the products over there, you have the WD Black PCIe yes. uh, M.2 module, yep. and you also had M.2 for blue and green. So it actually, you have three different PCIe uh, performance speeds or products that you're talking about here at CES? Ah, I see where you're going. So you bring up a good point where this is an M.2. Right, let me hold and that. And this is our WD Blue. Right, exactly. This is also an M.2 and this is our WD Black. Okay. Now, a lot of people think that with the M.2, it is automatically a PCIe drive. Mm -hmm. But the M.2 is really just the shape. It's a very, very thin, as you can see, right. form factor. It's really the shape of the SSD, like a two and a half inch drive. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you think of an M.2 as a two and a half inch drive, you can have a SATA version or a PCIe version. Okay, so what you're implying there is that the speed of the WD Blue M.2 SSD is similar to the larger 2.5 inch version. Correct, it is a SATA drive and so it's based on the SATA interface okay. and the speeds that a SATA drive can provide. Okay, so if you're looking for an SSD just to kind of speed up your system, and if you have an M.2 slot, this is probably what you're gonna go for. Exactly. But if you're looking for the higher end performance based model, yes. then it's a WD Black we're talking about. Yes, exactly. And you know, our customers, our WD customers are very loyal to us and they have been asking um, from the hard drive side when we were going to come out with an SSD. Okay. So WD Blue was the first that we launched back in October and it's gotten really great reception and feedback from our customers who then of course said, okay, great, we've got a WD Blue SSD. When's PCIe coming okay. out? Okay, and right. so this is why we're really proud to put out our WD Black PCIe SSD today. So just so people don't get too excited and start rushing Amazon today, because yes. I know it's not coming out today, right. when can people expect to see WD Black available for purchase? We expect to see WD Black available for purchase in the first half of 2017. Okay. So we went through a lot of functional integrity testing by our WD Labs to make sure that our WD Black is compatible and interoperable with the broad number of systems that are out there. In addition to that, because PCIe is a fairly new standard that mm -hmm. the industry is transitioning to, we also worked with PC manufacturers, with uh, motherboard manufacturers to test and validate the WD Black PCIe SSD. So for all the DIY guys that are out there, they can buy and be reassured that when they buy a mother, that particular motherboard with our WD Black PCIe, they know that the build will go as smoothly as possible. Okay, and so, and this is actually a good point to bring up. Um, you can't just go out and buy, whether it's this or any other, M.2 drive. You wanna make sure you have the port on right. your motherboard, and then secondly, after that, make sure that the drive is even compatible with that motherboard, even if you have the port on there. Yes. So you guys have a tool, I assume, on your website where people can go. Yes, and the compatibility guide will give consumers a really great list of the motherboards and the PC systems that are compatible with the WD Black PCIe SSD. So aside from using that compatibility tool, once you actually install this, you guys actually have tools that help people move their data over, and right? Exactly, so there are two free downloadable tools that we offer with the WD Black PCIe SSD, with actually all of our WD SSDs. Okay. The first one is the WD Dashboard, and what that is, it's, uh, number one, it's downloadable for free on the WD site, and number two, it allows you to monitor the health of your SSD, so you can track easy things like how full is your drive, okay. 
how much uh, lifespan is left in your drive, uh, what the firmware is, if you have smart attributes that you want to change or you know adjust, you can do that. It also, for PCIe especially, it will give you the temperature of your SSD. So you can see how high or low your, your PCIe SSD is running. The second thing that we offer, again, for free, downloadable at our WD.com site, okay. is a Cronus WD Edition cloning software. Once you put an SSD into your system, of course, you want to clone all your data. Yeah, definitely. So both the w Cronus WD Edition and the WD SSD dashboard are available to consumers for free. Okay. And so we'll be checking out, actually, the WD Black SSD. I don't have to wait until the end of the first half of 2017. You guys are letting me leave here yes. with one of these, just, just for testing. But I'm gonna put it to the test and see how it stacks up to other PCIe SSDs out there. Great. And it sounds like you guys are up for that challenge. We are. So stay tuned in a few days, I'll have that video up. But Lori, thanks so much Thank for you. joining me, letting me come up here into the Western Digital Suite. That was your look at the new WD SSD hardware. I'll have more from you from CES. Stay tuned. Thanks.